Hey folks, welcome back to Military Forces Unleashed. Today, we're diving deep into one of aviation's most intriguing mysteries, a tale of stealth, innovation, and speculation that could reshape modern air combat. Buckle up because we're about to explore whether an obscure prototype from the 1990s might hold the key to America's next generation fighter jet, the elusive F-47 NGAD. In this episode, we'll peel back the layers on Boeing's X-36, a 28th scale tailless wonder that many believe is more than just a museum relic. Some say it's the conceptual foundation for the U.S.'s next generation air dominance program, or NGAD. Is this tiny drone the secret ancestor of tomorrow's warbirds? Let's find out. What if I told you that hidden in plain sight at the National Museum of the United States Air Force lies a prototype so advanced it was shelved before its time, only to reappear decades later as whispers of a classified successor? Sounds like science fiction, right? But stick around, because by the end of this video, you'll see why some experts think the X-36 isn't just history, it's prophecy. The story of the X-36 begins not with a bang, but with a whisper. In the post-Cold War era, the battlefield shifted from brute force to precision strikes. Engineers were tasked with designing aircraft that could evade radar, penetrate enemy airspace undetected, and deliver devastating payloads, all without breaking the bank. Enter McDonnell Douglas, now part of Boeing, and NASA, who teamed up in 1993 to create something truly revolutionary. Imagine trying to design an airplane without a tail. No vertical stabilizers, no horizontal surfaces, just pure aerodynamic wizardry. Why would anyone do this? Well, tails are great for stability, sure, but they also add drag, weight, and a bigger radar signature. For stealthy fighters like the B-2 Spirit, losing the tail meant gaining speed, range, and invisibility. And while the B-2 didn't need agility, future fighters would demand both stealth and maneuverability. That's where the X-36 came in. In 1997, the X-36 took to the skies for the first time. It was small, just 28% the size of a potential full-scale fighter, but packed with cutting-edge tech. Remote-controlled, unstable by design, and equipped with thrust vectoring, the X-36 wasn't built to dogfight. Instead, it tested how well a tailless design could handle pitch and roll. Spoiler alert, it worked better than anyone expected. But here's the kicker. The program ended abruptly after 31 successful flights. Officially, it was deemed a success. Unofficially, it vanished into the black world of classified projects. Makes you wonder what happened next, doesn't it? One of the X-36's defining features was its lack of a tail. And let me tell you, this wasn't just for show. Vertical and horizontal stabilizers may keep planes steady, but they're also giant radar reflectors. By ditching them, designers reduced the aircraft's radar cross-section significantly. Sure, it made the plane harder to control, but thanks to fly-by-wire systems, computers did all the heavy lifting. And speaking of control, check out those split ailerons on the trailing edge of the wings. They didn't just roll the plane, they twisted it. This wing warping technique gave the X-36 unprecedented agility, even without traditional control surfaces. Think of it like twisting a paper airplane mid-flight to change direction. Except, you know, way cooler. The X-36 also featured forward canards, those little winglets near the nose. These weren't just for looks, they generated extra lift and provided additional control authority. However, they came with trade-offs. Canards create turbulent airflow over the main wings, increasing drag and potentially ruining stealth performance. So why include them? Simple. The benefits outweighed the drawbacks, at least for testing purposes. Fast forward to today, and the U.S. military is deep into developing the NGAD program, a family of systems designed to dominate the skies for decades to come. While details remain scarce, 
Leaked silhouettes hint at tailless designs reminiscent of the X-36. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe Lockheed Martin and Boeing have been quietly refining the concept since the 90s. Consider this. Modern air combat relies less on close-range dogfights and more on long-range missiles. Stealth is king, and every bump, bulge, or protrusion compromises it. A tailless design minimizes these risks while maintaining agility through advanced flight controls. If the X-36 proved anything, it's that tailless fighters aren't just feasible, they're practical. Now here's where things get interesting. Remember that Lockheed teaser image of their 6th gen fighter? Looks kinda like the X-36, right? Except, no canards. Hmm. Either they've abandoned the idea entirely, or they're deliberately throwing us off track. After all, misinformation is a powerful tool in the defense industry. Maybe leaving the X-36 on public display is another red herring, a decoy to distract rival nations while the real work happens behind closed doors. Let's break it down. On the plus side, tailless designs offer unparalleled stealth, reduced drag, and improved fuel efficiency. Add in thrust vectoring and advanced fly-by-wire systems, and you've got a recipe for dominance. Plus, remote operation opens up possibilities for unmanned combat drones, a key component of the NGAD vision. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Tailless aircraft are inherently unstable, requiring complex software to stay airborne. Lose that software and you lose the plane. Maintenance costs skyrocket and reliability becomes a concern. And then there's the issue of scaling up. The X-36 was tiny. Turning it into a full-sized fighter means solving problems we haven't even thought of yet. At its core, the X-36 represents humanity's relentless pursuit of progress. It pushed boundaries, challenged assumptions, and paved the way for future innovations. Whether or not it directly inspired the F-47 NGAD, its impact on aerospace engineering is undeniable. So, what do you think? Is the X-36 the missing link between yesterday's prototypes and tomorrow's warbirds? Or is it just another footnote in aviation history? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your theories. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into military tech. Until next time, keep reaching for the skies. Thanks for tuning in to Military Forces Unleashed. Your support keeps this channel flying high. Special shout out to the National Museum of the United States Air Force for preserving gems like the X-36. See you soon for another chapter in military aviation history.